going to Lovebox Festival this month and I am so, so excited. I haven't been to a festival in a few years, so I am just super, super excited. So I thought that I would show you today the makeup that I'm going to be wearing to Lovebox Festival. And this makeup look is inspired by Revlon's Urban Warrior look, which is basically a really, really gorgeous kind of brown smoky eye and a red lip, which is just so up my street. So I thought I'd kind of incorporate that into my look today. It's pretty much a makeup brush free tutorial as well, which is perfect for if you are going to a festival and you're going away for the weekend. There's one product that requires some form of brush, but it does come with one in the pack. So you're pretty much makeup brush free for this tutorial. But you can also use brushes if you're just going to the festival for a day, but it just means that you can kind of throw things in your bag and not worry about having to pack brushes. So yeah, enough rambling. This is is my festival makeup tutorial and I hope you guys like it. So I'm just going to start off by applying the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation in the shade 130 Shell um, all over my face but especially in the centre where I get a little bit red. I'm just going to work that into the skin with my fingers and I just really love the finish that this foundation gives. I've reviewed it on my blog um, I think about a year ago and I just love it. It's just a really good colour match and a really beautiful not dewy but not matte finish, it's just a really natural finish. Next I'm going to be using the Revlon Colour Stay Concealer and this is the shade, I think this is 03, 03 Light Medium. And this is just a really lovely kind of medium coverage concealer. I'm just popping that under my eyes, hiding all the dark circles which if you're going to be at a festival all weekend you're probably going to need this. So I've just blended that in with my ring finger under my eyes and because of the coverage of the Nearly Naked foundation I'm going to skip um, putting concealer anywhere else. Next I'm going to be using the Revlon Bronzer in Bronzilla. It's just the perfect bronzer, it's not too warm toned, it's not too cool toned, it's just beautiful. And that's the only product that I'm going to be do using a brush with and it does come with its own little brush which is perfect for a festival weekend as well. So that is my base done and dusted and now we move on to eyes which I think is like my favourite part of this look and I'm going to be using a Revlon quad in uh, the shade Addictive which is number 500, it's the Revlon Colour Stay quad and I love this, it even comes with a little kind of diagram on the back of where you can do, use different shades which I think is really really useful and I'm just going to be using the two darkest shades in the palette for this look. I'm just going to pat shade 3 onto my ring finger and then just apply it all over the lid. No brushes required. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of the darker shade, just a tiny mini bit, and just blend that into the outer corners with my finger. And some people might think it's really weird not using a brush for this, but when I was younger I used to do this all the time and when I went to a festival a couple of years ago I found this technique so, so simple because it just meant that I didn't have to take a million brushes with me, just the one. So I'm just going to take a little bit underneath my eye as well. And next I'm going to be using the Revlon Colour Stay Liquid Liner in the shade Black and I love liquid liner as you know. I really love the nib on this because it just makes everything so easy to apply. It's quite stiff, which I think is amazing for getting a really straight wing line. So that's my eyeliner done and next I'm going to move on to mascara and I'm going to be using the Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume Mascara. I've just got the black shade and I love this mascara. And this mascara is great just because it gives a really lovely fluttery lash that has quite a lot of volume which you guys know I like. I like my volume. That is mascara done and I've also applied it to my bottom lashes as well just because we put a little bit of eyeshadow underneath that. And I just think that the combination of the eyeshadow and the lower lash um, mascara just makes everything look so much wider and bigger and just make your eyes look so naturally bright and I really love that. And next I'm moving on to brows and I spoke about this I think in my last favourites video and this is the Revlon Brow Fantasy and I 
Regan love this. It's just a pencil and a gel in one. It just works so well and for a festival, especially if you're away and you can only take a few things in your makeup bag, this is just perfect because it's a two in one. You don't have to faff about too much. It's just so, so good. I love it. It's a really good colour match if you've got kind of darker brows that aren't too um, red toned because I know some people have quite warm toned brows and when they use a dark brown it matches perfectly but I've got quite ashy toned dark brows and lots of eye pencils can be too warm but this one is just perfect and it just helps keep things really really lovely and natural so I'm just filling in the underneath to start with I just I find it helps to thicken my brows up so much just by giving the underneath of the brows some attention because otherwise they tend to look like upside down smiley faces which I don't love at all. And then I work from the arch to the end, like that. And then I probably go in and fill in the arch and kind of work my way back to the front. And the front needs a little bit of loving but the gel kind of takes care of that because it's got a slight tint to it so it just darkens up some of the sparse areas which is great. And next we're moving on to lips and for this look I decided to go with the Revlon Colour Burst Matte Balm in Audacious. I've spoken about this in quite a few videos before and I just love this. It's just a really beautiful corally orangey red. It's really really gorgeous but the great thing about this is you can have it beautifully like bold or you can kind of pat it down and just make it look really soft and subtle and either way it just looks gorgeous. So depending on how you like your festival look to be this is actually a really great multitasking product and you know, it's so, so easy to apply, which is great when you're at a festival. And that is the finished look. I genuinely, I just love it. It's just my perfect festival look. You guys know I sport this pretty much all the time, just the slightly kind of more subtle version. But I just think that this is gorgeous and I can't wait to wear it to Love Box. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you're subscribed for more videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!